Employees spend maximum time in their workplaces and this time could either be well spent with productivity or detesting the atmosphere created by people themselves who are not just hampering the productivity but also resulting in employees leaving and most of the time attrition is not due to the organization but the unappreciative and self-serving managers and peers who are encouraged by the same manager in unethical behavior. Today, most of the organizations have a good setup with world-class cafes, gyms, and other recreational facilities to make sure employees' work-life balance is better and the stress or the work pressure is not getting the better of them. But when co-workers and incapable managers torch the dedicated employees, for some reason or the other, it gets difficult and the focus on work gets affected, which hampers the productivity and the whole chain reaction starts off. I don't like this. I don't like going to work anymore. Atmosphere sucks. People are mean. Manager is a self-serving dimwit. And the list goes on. That feeling is actually an ignition and it's only a matter of time that the employees, they shift gears and hit the gas and full throttle away from the company to the other. No point blaming HR for they couldn't retain an employee. You gotta troubleshoot the bad fish and give them a chance to change for better or ask them to leave. And that way you will have saved more employees and the bad fish will have learned the lesson, hopefully. Nobody's born bad, but it's the survival of the fittest. When people see that they can get away with being bad and not working, they take the easy way out and bully around unnecessarily. These are sometimes senior managers who don't know from their ass to their elbow, but dodge the system. Ombudsperson should be a mandatory, I feel, a mandatory figure on a mission in any organization so that the organization doesn't suffer the attrition due to some incompetent imbecile or imbeciles who would disrupt the functional flow of the organization and its hardworking and good employees. You cannot start a fire without a spark. Encourage your honest employees to come forward and share their grievances or hurdles they're facing in their productivity. Find the culprit if you feel there's a genuine problem, then nip it in the bud. One-on-one -on -one with your employees will always be more productive than having long-term killing meetings. Here's hoping this helps stir up some much-needed food for thought. Please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you found this helpful or relatable. And stay tuned for my upcoming topic, Employee Ghosters. Meanwhile, do take a look at the link below on the topic of ghosting. This is Monica signing off. Until next time.